Great morning, great Lord's Day, great Sunday morning, and great day seven of prayer. God bless you, saints of God. Uh, Lord, we thank you for your presence and for these special uh, seven days of prayer. Today, we're going to believe God for restoration. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, this truly is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Come on in, prayer warriors. Come on in, those of you that are standing on the wall and won't come down, or you uh, intercessors that are praying for your family and other families, and praying for your health and others' health, and um, praying for your healing and others' healings. Come on in. Let's bless the Lord. Lord, I thank you. Oh, God. Seven days, seven days of healing, seven days of deliverance, seven days of blessing, seven days of petitioning God, seven days of, of um, believing God, praying for our homes and for our families, for our children, praying, Lord, Ah, uh, thank you, Holy Ghost, for our deliverance, for our breakthrough. Praying, Lord, for salvation. Ah, uh, praying for the body, the soul, and the spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you all. Thank you all uh, who have been diligent and faithful to this time of prayer, for this special call to prayer by your pastor. Praise God. As you all are coming in, tell me something, say something. As a matter of fact, as our usual custom, y'all go ahead and um, put your scriptures in from yesterday. Yesterday, we prayed for the family. Y'all, today, we're going to start a whole series on family. It's going to be a short series because I want to I want to minister um, about our roles in the family, the importance of the family, minister about the role of the man, about the role of the woman, about the role of the child, the husband, the wife, the children. So we're gonna have a great kickoff on this Father's Day. Um, come on in everybody, God bless you. And to all my daddies, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. I see you all coming on in. Happy Father's Day to everyone that's a father. Uh, women say something about uh, your father, tell your father happy Father's Day. Everybody, uh, some of y'all think of me as your spiritual father. Come on, tell your fathers happy Father's Day today. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for my daddy uh, who you took home last year. And thank you, Lord, that I've been able to be a, a, a good father, a good brother, a good husband. Hallelujah. A good man. Come on, praise God for good fathers today. Praise him. Thank God for him. Um, after you do that, then we're going to go back to our scriptures from yesterday. <laughs> but you all say something to your fathers today. You all have any fathers? I think I for my spiritual father, Bishop Patrick Whitten. And for all those, Lord, we thank you and we praise you. We glorify you. Hmm. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Y'all ready to have church this morning and then go back for a double portion at 1030 during our morning worship? Oh, praise God. To those of you that can make it physically to church, you want to be there. To those of you that can make it to church today, uh, listen to a brother. You want to be there. Hallelujah. I'm looking for my scriptures from yesterday, but it looked like I can't find them. <laughs> All right, here we go. What were your um, three passages of scripture for... 
family. That's what I was looking for. And uh, I know I had them, but they disappeared on me for some reason. Let me go look at yesterday's notes. I know they got to be in there. <laughs> uh, because we've been believing God each day for healing, deliverance, petitioning, devotion, prosperity, and... Uh, and then yesterday was family. Okay. Everybody put in their scriptures for family on yesterday. What were your scriptures that you studied for family? Let me give you mine real quick. I talked about the woman, the man, and the child. What were your scriptures on for family on yesterday? for the family. Here's mine. I've been trying to put them in the chat. Y'all, y'all, excuse me. Pastor Will was, was uh, he's, he's had a long week. <laughs> and especially a young, long uh, last three days. Um, my, my scriptures, y'all posting your scriptures for, for your family. What are the scriptures that you pray for your families? Uh, I, I prayed for uh, the man, uh, the woman, and the child. Ephesians 5 and 22, wives, submit yourself to your husbands as unto the Lord. The Bible says in 1 Peter that if you do this, you have the power to win them. X, um, in Proverbs um, 18 and 22 says, whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor to the Lord. God says this woman brings you favor, men and husbands, and talks about how to treat the wife and how to treat the children. Um, God says in 1 Peter 3, again, for the men to deal with them, dwell with them according to knowledge, uh, so that your prayers be not hindered. Did you know that if you don't treat your wife right, God's going to have a problem with you? <laughs> Uh, and then Exodus 20 and 12, honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land. That's how you get prosperous, by the way, by letting uh, time um, and, and work and effort bring resources. And that's why um, this passage is so important. You see a lot of children dying. They're not honoring their mother and their father. They don't get long life. And then so without long life, you don't get long wealth. Uh, Y'all go ahead and put your passages in for your family. Thank you all. Thank you all. God bless you. Let's get started here this morning. Let's get started here this morning. Thank you all for doing these seven days with me. Tomorrow, I will be right back with our normal um, morning manna prayer. To those of you that, that join me in prayer five days a week, I'm here five days, Monday through Friday, um, 6 a.m. We get our day started. We get our week started. We Before we get out that house or get to work, some of y'all be calling me in on your way to work. And a few people calling me at work. Uh, so we praise God for you all as well. But let's let's get started here this morning. Hallelujah. Restoration. Restoration. So I've given you um, seven things to pray for these, these seven days. Um, and um, I pray that you all will continue to, to see the significance and the importance of prayer and continue to pray. The Bible says we should always pray and not faint. I guess that's one of the reasons why I haven't stopped. Um, I'm in 116 weeks, getting ready to go into 117 weeks uh, of prayer. And um, I, God just won't let me stop. I, I just keep praying. I keep believing. I keep trusting. 
a lot of people, do you know a lot of people give up on prayer because from their perspective, they, they say it don't work. And the reason why it don't work is because they prayed and they didn't get what they asked for. God, third John, I believe says, we can be confident um, of our prayers. Mm, thank you, Holy Ghost. That we can be confident. Ah, let me see if I can get that passage. First John, I said third John, first John 5 and 14. And this is the confidence. Uh, let me post that for you all. Y'all make a note of that scripture. Uh, first John 5 and 14. Just make a note of that. Mm, I love that passage. And this is the confidence that we have in him. This is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. And so this week was a week for us to come together to seek the face of God in troubled times. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost, to call upon him while he's near. Hallelujah. To bind the devil, to bring deliverance, to restore, to heal. I'm going to get to my restoration, but I just want you all to know why it's so important that we pray and why I've been doing it now for, I believe, 116 weeks. So God is going to heal you. He will bring deliverance. He will answer our petition. I just told you we can be confident in that. Uh, uh, we are growing closer with our devotion. God is going to multiply our finances. Hallelujah. He's going to bless our intercessory prayer for our family. And today we are going to believe God for restoration, restoration. Ah, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, thank you. Everybody just put that in, in the chat, restoration. Text somebody, restoration. As a matter of fact, take a minute and share this prayer. Sunday morning, people up on Facebook, probably up to no good anyway. Go ahead and, and share this uh, on YouTube. Put in the chat, restoration, hashtag restoration, and then send that to somebody. Mm. Do exactly that. I want you to share this with somebody. Share it on your timeline. Um, somebody's going to see their life restored. They're going to see their health restored. They're going to see their years restored. And I will restore. They're going to see what was taken in from them restored. And I will restore. And I will restore. Go ahead and hit that. Uh, let me share that as well. But I want you all to prepare your hearts and your minds. We're going to believe God for restoration today. We, we, we declare that it is so. We declare that God will do exactly what he said. Take a minute and, and put that in the chat, restoration. Uh, hashtag restoration. Uh, let me do one more share to one of my larger groups. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lord, I declare that every person that answers your call, that you will restore everything that was taken from them. I speak it and declare it right now. I say it is done right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I believe that you're going to restore my home, my family. I believe that you're going to restore my health and my body. I believe that you're going to restore my soul and my mind. I believe that you're going to restore my spirit. Lord, you're going to restore our ministry, everything. Hallelujah, that the enemy attacked. I declare it is restored. Come on, put that in the chat, restoration. What do you need restoring? What has the enemy done to you in the night when you were asleep? What has the enemy destroyed or tried to destroy? What attacks have you endured and didn't even see them coming? Hallelujah. While you were minding your business, getting your rest, the enemy came and sold 
weed, uh, weeds, uh, tears in your garden? Am I talking to anybody right now? Am I ministering to anybody right now? God says, I will restore. I will restore. I will restore. Let's talk about that. Um, let's talk about that first level of restoration here. Uh, in 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 our in our in our post, I gave you uh, the first thing that God gave me about restoration this morning was Joel two and twenty five, and I will restore the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. I will restore. I will restore. Mm. First thing I want to talk about is restoring your time, restoring the years. Ah! Thank you, Holy Ghost. Somebody grab that right there. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. I will restore the years. One of the things that we lose when the enemy takes something from us, even if we get it back, is we lost the time that we would have been blessed if we had it. And so many times when you go through a court, they don't just restore to you the stuff, but they they, they, they have damages to go along with that. Um. And it is to commiserate, uh, to deal with the fact that you lost time. You lost time. You lost time to live blessed. You lost time to live healing. You lost time with your home, with your marriage. You lost time with your brothers and sisters, your family, uh, because of some fallout, because the enemy came and attacked and tried to destroy God says, I'm going to restore the years, restore the years. If you remember a man by the name of Caleb was ready to go and possess the land, but but the majority of the children of Israel uh, uh, were afraid and operated in fear, and they wandered around in the wilderness for 40 years and lost their time, 40 years of Coronas, Corona time, Coronas time. Uh, 40 years of time they could have had. And God said, I'm going to give it back to you. When they got back to that promised land, Caleb was still there. And he says, at 85, I am as strong as I was 40 years ago. God gave him his time back. Saints of God, somebody ought to believe God right now. Hallelujah, because some of y'all have been in some stuff for a long time. But go ahead and put that right there. Say, I'm going to get my years back. I'm going to get my years back. God's going to restore my years. My, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get my years back. All those years of blood, sweat, and tears. All those years of weeping at night. All of those years of loss in captivity, all of those years of walking uh, without blessings, walking in just enough and, and not enough. God says, I'm going to give you your years back. I'm going to give you your year. Somebody call that right now and speak that right now. Restoration of my years, restoration of my time. Ha, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead and put that in the chat. I'm going to get my time back. I'm going to get my years back. I'm going to believe God that everything that the, and if y'all remember when we talked about that, we talked about the caterpillar and we talked about rebuking. What does the caterpillar do? He devours your stuff. And God says everything that he took back, the first thing I'm going to give you back is your time. Somebody just say it, put it in the chat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is restoring my time. He's restoring my years. I lost some time, but God is restoring it. God is restoring my time in the name of Jesus. I will believe God that I'm going to get my time back. Uh, hallelujah. What did what that songwriter says? 
Put your time in because payday is coming after a while. I believe that God is giving us our time back. Somebody declare that right now. Somebody declare that, that you're going to get, get, get your youth back. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That, 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 what, what, what do we call that type of time? That Cronus time, chronological time, the years, hallelujah, the years, because you sought God first. Uh, hallelujah. God says, I'm going to give you your time back. I'm going to give you your years back. The second thing that we're, we're praying for and believing God, mm, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is your health. Jeremiah 30 and 17 says, I will restore your health. Now, I know we got some young people on, we got some young people on, but those of you that are creeping around my age, ah, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You can appreciate your health. You can appreciate your health. Holla, you go to the doctors a few more times. You wake up with some new aches and pains that you never felt before. I, hallelujah, I've been through some stuff these last two years that I frankly never experienced. I had nerve problems and knee surgery and prostate issues and, and uh, uh, ah, thank you, a whole year of testing and poking and prodding and biopsies and, and uh, uh, rehab and crutches and all of that. Am I talking to anybody? Medication and take this uh, uh, for 30 days. Take this every day. Am I preaching to anybody? God says, for I will restore health unto thee and I will heal thee of thy wound, said the Lord, uh, because they called thee an outcast saying, this is Zion, there where whom no man seeketh after. God says, that's all right. I'm seeking after you and I'm going to give you your help. Somebody declare it and speak it. Our first prayer was healing. Somebody declare, hallelujah, God is restoring my body. God is restoring my health. God is restoring my mind. Some of you are attacked in your mind and God's going to restore. He's going to give you peace that passeth all understanding. Hallelujah. I am going to be your Jehovah Rapha, the Lord God that healeth thee. I'm going to restore your health. Somebody praise God for healing. Somebody praise God for healing. Somebody praise God for that restoration of your, oh, yeah, 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 that restoration of your health. I'm going to restore your years. I'm going to restore your health. I know I got to pray. I'm taking up too much time. We got to get ready for morning worship today. But uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. There is a spiritual restoration that we need. And, and somebody just put that in there, a restoration of my joy, a restoration of my spirit. One of my favorite Psalms, if the 51st Psalm, when David lost things because of his own behavior, because he was the one that sinned. He was the one that tried to cover up his sins uh, 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 through murder. And But he said, Lord, hallelujah, against you and you only have I sinned. I repent, Lord. And he said, purge me and wash me and cleanse me, create in me a clean heart, renew a right spirit spirit in me. Restore unto me the joy of my thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Uh, I'm getting my joy back. I'm getting my joy. Is there anybody that's been, been these, these couple of years have gotten brought heaviness, a uh, 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 sorrow. Maybe you've been through loss physically, or maybe you've been through loss emotionally and you've been struggling with depression. But I believe that God is going to bring joy and peace back. Uh, God is going to allow me to have the joy and to dance and the shout. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Joy, joy, joy. Hallelujah. Look, I'm spending all my time to, uh, with man and I ain't prayed yet, but my prayer is these words. My prayer is this scripture. Y'all, I'm praying for you right now, even while I'm teaching, even while I'm giving you this manna. God, restore my my spirit. Give me back the excitement. Give me back the joy. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to restore your spirit. 
See, you are body, you are soul, but you're also spirit. Uh, hallelujah. Oh, no, no, sure. I was shaping and iniquity and sin, and my mother conceived me, and I made bad decisions, and, and, my, and, and the enemy took my joy, and he took, hallelujah, my mind. But today, God says, I'm restoring it all. I'm restoring your joy. I'm restoring your spirit. Somebody believe God for restoration right now. Somebody believe God for healing right now. Somebody believe God for deliverance right now. Somebody believe God that your soul has been set free. Holy, that heaviness, that depression. I will bless the Lord at all time and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord and the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I'm getting my joy back. I'm going to dance today. I'm going to shout today. I'm going to leap for joy because the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. And as we close out this prayer today, I hear God saying, hallelujah, I'm not going to just give you your, your time back. Uh, I'm not going to just give you your health back. I'm not going to just give you your joy back, uh, but I'm going to give it to you with increase. Uh, huh? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, God says, because it was taken from you, hallelujah, it's going to be restored to you sevenfold, uh, and he shall give all the substance of his house. Uh, but he, but if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. Who is he? He is the thief, the stealer, the caterpillar, the canker worm, the palmer worm, the devourer. God says he ain't gonna just give you your stuff back, but he's gonna give it back to you sevenfold. Somebody ought to believe God. How long did we pray this week? We prayed seven prayers for seven days, seven days of believing, seven days of fasting. And I hear God saying, I'm gonna give it back to you. Hallelujah sevenfold. Somebody rejoice and get excited about that. Sevenfold blessings, sevenfold healing, sevenfold deliverance, sevenfold breakthrough, sevenfold restoration, sevenfold hallelujah of joy. Seven times you took it, now give it back seven times. You tried to destroy it, now give it back seven times. You devoured it, now give it back sevenfold. Hallelujah. I need somebody to see the reason why the Bible says, for I reckon that the sufferings of these present times are not worthy to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed because what I got coming is going to be fulfillment. What I got coming is going to be seven times. A good man falling, a just man falling seven times, but he gets back up again. He gets back up with a sevenfold restoration, with a sevenfold blessing. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for restoration today. Ah, we thank you for restoration. We believe you for, Lord, restoring our life and restoring our joy and restoring our healing. We say it is restored right now. Hallelujah. Our ministry is being restored. And Lord, in the latter days, it's going to be greater than the former days. You're going to restore it seven folds. Our homes, our families, our marriages, uh, hallelujah, Lord, our relationships uh, are going to be restored sevenfold. Uh, what you gave up in my name, uh, what was taken from you is going to have to come back. Uh, your body, your soul, your mind, your spirit. Uh, somebody scream sevenfold. Uh, somebody scream sevenfold. Uh, somebody scream seven times. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Your health being restored. Uh, get your strength back. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Declare, I am as strong now than I was seven years ago. I am as strong now than I was seven challenges ago, seven problems ago. Go ahead and declare it. Say that you took it. Now you're going to give it back seven times. You destroyed it, but you're going to give it back seven times. You took it away, but you're going to bring it back seven times, sevenfold. Ah, I may have fallen seven times. But I'm getting up with joy. 
I'm getting up with healing. I'm getting up with deliverance. I'm getting up with victory. Lord, restore my joy seven times. Restore my health seven times. Restore my family seven times. Restore our ministry seven times. Restore my joy seven times. Restore my body seven times. Restore my relationships and my friendships seven times, Lord. Lord, those that walked out uh, sent seven more in their place. Uh, those that left uh, sent sevenfold in their place. Uh, someone that's seven times better uh, or seven different people, uh, seven different streams of resources, uh, of income, uh, seven times uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Uh, we thank you for this time of prayer. Uh, seven prayers, Lord. Uh, seven blessings. Uh, seven healings. Uh, seven is the number of fulfillment. Uh, fulfill my body. Fulfill my joy. Fulfill my soul. Fulfill my healing. Uh, fulfill my deliverance. Uh, Lord, you know my heart. Uh, now, Lord, move right now. Uh, you know my joy. Uh, move right now. Uh, you know my body. Uh, move right now. Uh, you know my spirit. Uh, move right now. Uh, you know my family. Uh, move right now. Uh, you know my family. Finances uh, move right now uh, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. I got to get ready for service. Hallelujah. It's been a long week for me, a long three or four days traveling up to uh, Asheville and traveling back all night long Saturday to catch a plane to go to Kansas City and plane got delayed. I'm sitting there waiting and waiting, but I pray, Lord, don't let me miss my connection. Hallelujah, the plane was delayed. I said, Lord, don't let me miss my connection. I want to get to my house tomorrow. I got to get to the church tomorrow. There's a word. I got to get to prayer this morning. And God did just what I asked. <laughs> He will give you just what you ask. That's your confidence. God's going to restore some things. Y'all go, y'all going to ask for some stuff and you're going to see it this time. God's going to give it back to you sevenfold. This is Father's Day. There's a new word that I have for families on today. Listen, as we sow today, the seed for this week was 70. I sowed it on Friday. I sowed double that because I've been sowing 20 every day. I'm going to sow 70 again this morning. Here's what I want you all to do. Those of you, hallelujah, they are sowing today. Go ahead and put, put the seed in the ground. You may sow 10, you may sow 20, you may sow the 70 like me, but go ahead and put a seed in the ground right now. Put a seed on all those seven prayers. Put a seed on your restoration. Ah, as a matter of fact, that's what I want you all to put in the chat as we are sowing today. Put in that chat again, restoration. And I'm going to put next to that sevenfold. Hallelujah. Put that restoration sevenfold in the chat. I'm going to sow $70. There may be somebody else that's believing God. Hallelujah. For a sevenfold blessing. And you want to sow a $70 seed. Everybody else sow. Hallelujah. What you what, what the Lord placed in your heart. If you've been sowing a little bit every day, then sow it again today. Hallelujah. But I'm sowing 70. You may sow the number seven if you want. 27. That's a good number. That's a good number. That's a good number. 37. That's an even better number. Three times seven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I'm sowing 70. <laughs> Hallelujah. Seven, 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 sevenfold. Somebody put that in the chat. Restoration sevenfold. Let me let me do that again. Restoration. Hallelujah. Sevenfold. Mm. Restoration sevenfold. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm going to uh, ask the saints of God that didn't join us for prayer this morning for sevenfold blessed seed. Hallelujah, during our worship time. You can go ahead and put yours in now if you want. You can sow that 70. That's what we're going to believe God for, for a seven. And I'm going to restore it sevenfold. What was taken, I'm going to restore it sevenfold. Sevenfold. Oh, Sha, thank you. Oh, there you Sha. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. And this is our confidence that if we ask anything according to God's will, we know that he hears us. And if he hears us, then we know that he will answer our prayer. Hallelujah. That was my version of it. <laughs> 
that was my version of that passage. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That we get confidence that God hears our prayer. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. Let me give you your benediction. I hope that you all join me at church today. This is Father's Day. I heard somebody say, y'all stop treating Father's Day like a Section 8 holiday. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. Uh, Section 8 holiday. We just go get all your rent for $27. <laughs> So don't get your well. I'll take the time if y'all want to give me a time, but stop treating me like a a, a Section Eight holiday. I couldn't get into the restaurants during Mother's Day. I couldn't get in. I had to cook my mother something at home. She was here, and I wanted to take her to the Ruth Chris and the Angus Barn. Them jokers was filled up. And I called on Friday before Mother's Day. They're like, oh, we sold out. No more room in the end. I had to cook for her. But I cooked her a nice little steak. But, uh, but you know, they were sending me messages. We got space for Father's Day. <laughs> you can come and get breakfast this morning for Father's Day. Y'all treat Father's Day like a Section 8 holiday. But happy Father's Day to all my daddies, all my fathers. Y'all thank God. I think those of you that have been sending me little Father's Day, thank you all. I love you. And to make sure you say happy Father's Day to your father. I'm going to send a few out today to those that I look to as leaders and fathers in my life. Uh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling, present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. The only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever we pray in Jesus' name. Don't just live life. Live a victorious life and have an amazing day. Church at 1030, morning manna again, starting for our normal five days, tomorrow at 6 a.m., Y'all be blessed. Sevenfold blessings of restoration. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye.